being won the toss and typically Australians said yes we don't have any fears here we will bat they got knocked over and then they got stuck into the Sri Lankans the Sri Lankans came back with uh, rear guard action from their tail in the first innings and then uh, Australia built this lead of 351 through, uh, through uh, some magnificent batting one from Adam Gilchrist who'd come out of a slump with a magnificent 144 Damien Martin was extremely patient with 160 so there you are Sanat Jayasuriya came out and uh, and played one of the best innings I've seen for a long long time and I know he was thrilled the way he hit the ball he just went back to his old ways of being attacking and uh, he has set up a victory for Sri Lanka that run out. They need 51 to win. Australia need three wickets and it'll be Shane Warne. And they've got 105 overs to do it in. <laughs> yes, and as it has been said, any of three results are possible. And no one saw the next man in. A little shake of the legs, perhaps a few butterflies in the stomach. It could be a draw, it could be a tie, it could be a win for Australia, or it could be a win for Sri Lanka. Shane Warne to Chaminda Vass. Vass is on 30. And uh, right on the dot. First ball from Shane Warne. Always bowls the flatter, quicker one. First ball is his warm up ball. Well, it's very watchful. It was in line with the stumps, so nothing silly. Just playing it defensively. He's the senior man out there, and uh, a lot depends on him. Nice shot down to long off just for the single. One of his favourite shots, Chaminda Vass, to get off strike is a loft. If there's a man at the normal mid opposition, he he's not frightened to loft, go over the top. Yes, and a big cheer straight away. The biggest crowd uh, in this test match here today. And uh, on the instructions of the president, Sri Lanka Sumati Pala, Sri Lanka cricket has opened the gates. There's uh, no charge for this match, for this uh, day. And uh, if you are in Kandy, if you are around the Askiria Stadium, then uh, make your way here because uh, there's going to be an hour or a little more than that when we're going to witness some really thrilling cricket. Another 50 runs for Sri Lanka. Australia need three wickets. So it's Kaushal Lokorachi who uh, played some lovely shots last night. Nice to have these guys coming in uh, in the lower order who uh, can really handle the bat. Nice turn, just a nervous, nervous little shuffle down the track then after he played that. Lokorachi sent back by Vaas. Yes, the Australians aren't taking chances. If there was a gully close in, may have gone to hand and that's obviously what Shane Warne is thinking out there but they've just got the slip close in and a fairly spread field oh Ooh, just a bit quicker now Kausha look who actually played with a lot of maturity yesterday just in his fourth test match but uh, last evening he came out under pressure wasn't bothered at all played some glorious shots to get up to 13. Partnership so far is 28. Oh. Full toss. Down to the deep mid off for a single. Kasparish down there. Yes, mid off is deep uh, for Luku Arachi, but now for Chami Dawas. They've both gone back, mid off and the mid on to long on and long off. Morning. So 49 required, three wickets. And uh, until the last run is scored or the last wicket is taken, this is going down to the wire. Oh, he's uh, straight down leg side, but just a single. Nice lap sweep from Chaminda Vass. And he will retain the strike. 304 for seven. John Dyson, he'd be feeling the pinch here. Former Australian opening batsman, now coach of Sri Lanka. I don't think he'd have mixed emotions. He's having a cup of coffee. 
to ease the nerves and uh, certainly the crowd on the edge of their seats as uh, Gillespie warms up uh, as expected he's uh, starting proceedings from the Hunas Giri end and the Sri Lankan players batsman Sangakara and Delshan they are watching waiting Delshan played a good knock made a 40 odd before a superb delivery from uh, Shane Warne bowled him and now it's Gillespie to Chamindawas. Oh, an inside edge has gone all the way for four. Maybe it's going to run with the Sri Lankans today. A smile on the wise captain's face. The Sri Lankan spectators cheer. They all count. Tried to drive it on the offside, didn't get the foot to the pitch, got an inside edge, close to the leg stump, but it raced away for four. So seven runs knocked off this morning. How close! Gillespie's bowled beautifully in this match. He always bowls well, but uh, his line has been impeccable. And again. Gillespie's going to bend his back, he's going to give it everything. And Chamin the Vas, what a fine match he's had, both with bat and ball. Holding it together, 36 not out. 44 runs required for Sri Lanka. Ricky Ponting. Jason Gillespie. The crowd is on every ball here, and why not? Yes, they'll cheer the defensive shots. They'll uh, cheer every run that scored. As uh, Sri Lanka inch slowly towards that uh, target of 352. This pair, Lukwarachi and Was, have done extremely well. It looked uh, lost when uh, Delshan got out, but they have played superbly. Oh, he's hooked that one. Back with a square. Simons. Beautifully fielded. Just a single. Now that's the record eight wicket partnership for Sri Lanka versus Australia. Previous best 34, Chandana and again Was. That was in goal, but that's so well played by Was. Rocked onto the back foot, got it off the middle of the bat. Simmons under pressure for a while because the ball was racing away from him, but uh, kept his cool, fielded well under pressure. How calm is Chaminda Vas? Just leaning on his bat at the other end, checking it out. Seasoned campaigner, great player. One, 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 one. Yes, single. Look what actually again getting behind the line, just pushing defensively to that uh, vacant point area. And uh, he picks up another run. So the partnership now 36 of just 45 deliveries. And the Sri Lankans, they've attacked. They've attacked right from the beginning, first through Jayasuriya, who made that brilliant century yesterday. And all the batsmen have played their natural game, played their shots, and it's paid off. Oh, he smashed it down the ground for four. What a shot. Chaminda Vas, 10 from the over, 314 for seven. Okay, Chaminda Vas, 41, got 68 not out in the first innings, and what a shot. Leg by. Another big roll as uh, that's a leg by. Shane Warne is not happy, he didn't think the batsman played a shot. Extras go up to 19, and uh, that was 
the wrong run, which was played defensively. Fair shot. And uh, one run uh, signaled by Steve Bucknell. I think he played a shot then. Playing for the turn to come onto the bat. Brings Vass on to strike. over the top four more what a brave shot from Chamin Dawas flighted he saw it picked it early got his foot down the track and uh, smashed it over the short mid wicket fielder didn't really get hold of it not right off the middle of the bat but it had enough legs uh, to beat the mid wicket fielder Stuart McGill that is fairly towards the bottom of the bat but uh, enough to get four runs for him and for Sri Lanka. It's pitched up and he's dropped it. He's dropped it cover by Andrew Simons. One of the best fieldsmen in the world. The pressure's on. My word, could this be the last uh, saving grace? Could this be it for Australia? And Shane Warne goes up and then... What a disappointment, straight in to Big Andrew Simmons and straight out. Thirty-three required by Sri Lanka. Oh, nice one up. He's coming safe. Nice delivery, look at the crowd. Yes, Fortune is favouring the Brave. Kouas has played his shots at tackle, he did hard but uh, straight into the hands of uh, Simmons and it was missed and the last delivery very nicely onto the back foot pushing it defensively and he's gone for it again it's in the air yes Colin Fass is gone just one too many from Vass well Chamin the Vass chancing his arm that was a good delivery from Warney he held it back a little bit was went for that shot, trying to clear mid wicket. It is, he uh, went a little bit quicker and uh, right into the hands, and uh, Langer is delighted. How good is Andrew Simons feeling? He's out for 45, it's 319 for eight. So 33 to win. What a match. Nuan Zoysa. 25 matches. His highest uh, is 28 in tests. But let's not forget, let's not forget that he got 47 in 42 balls to win the fifth one in that one day international versus Australia at SSC just a couple of weeks ago. What field? It was that day that he tore the quicks apart. Here it is. He's tried to get it right over the top, I reckon. He's, I think he's tried to hit that for six and didn't quite get it. Safe hands of Justin Langer. Look at that. Relief. All round. Didn't quite get it. No, he was 10 metres away from the boundary. And as you said, Bruce, he was going for a six, going for the big one. Just con couldn't control himself. He's been uh, so calm up to then in the situation. But uh, suddenly a rush of blood and Chami Dawas has hit it in the air and Australia have picked up the eighth Sri Lankan wicket and Shane Warne full of concentration before he takes off the ball to Nuan Soiza. Oh, oh, over ball. Tremendous over. 319 for eight. The match. Jason Gillespie will bowl the perfect line. Lokarachi is on strike. Quite calm in the crisis. No runs. Gillespie went for 10 runs in uh, his opening over from that uh, Hunaskiria end. He's walking back to his mark. He's certainly got to do much better. He's got Was out of the way. Was was the man who uh, got all the runs. 
So 18.1 overs, three for 71. Lots of experience, and uh, where do we put them? There's just one slip. And they don't have a third man. There's a big gap between slip and gully. And Shane Warne will drop out of first slip and go all the way down to the third man position. Gillespie. Wakarachi. Yes, the Australians possibly feel that uh, the Sri Lankan batsman will hit the ball in the air at uh, some time or the other. And uh, so close fielders are not required, just a gully. Yeah, leaving that big gap there can work two ways here for the Australians. They save the four down at third man. There's the big gap between the keeper. Maybe it entices a little dab and maybe a nick behind. Oh, there's a bit of swing for Gillespie. It would just be the single. Yes, wise move, sending that uh, slip down to third man, because that would have found the gap, if not, and gone for four runs. So just a single for Lukwarati, jabbing it down well. He kept it away, kept it along the ground. The partnership from Lukwarati and Vaas was... Uh, 45 and 51 balls. Very positive stuff. Following Sanat Jayasuriya's attack, it was an onslaught on the Aussie attack. 131 he made from 145 deliveries. Some of the best shots you'd ever want to see in cricket. Now, two slips for Zoysa. And a third man, and a deep backward point. Nice line. Well, the Australians did see Soiza making those runs in that uh, fifth one day international. A lot of them were scored on the leg side. So the attack today is going to be outside the off stump or off stump. Just the two men on the leg side. That's an indication that Gillespie is uh, going to keep bowling outside his off stump and trying then to get him to just lunge at it, edge it maybe to keep over one of those slips. Nice shot for none. What I've noticed about Nuan Zoysa, whether he makes a few or not, he seems to hit the ball in the middle. He must have a very good eye for the ball. Plays with a nice straight bat. Face three deliveries so far. Yet to get off the mark. He's got a nice technique. Yes, he does like the ball coming onto him. Plays a lot on the up tall man and he will hook Ooh, we'd feel that was wasted Jason Gillespie 320 for 8 the words out free admission here today to witness this uh, dramatic end climax of this fantastic cricket match Murali, <laughs> look at those eyes. Uh, he was out, out in the middle this morning talking about if what he would do if he had to go in and bat today. He said, I'm not going to muck about anymore. I'm going to play by shots. We'll wait and see if they need five to get. Will he have a swing or will he try and dab a few around to, uh, to clinch the victory? What a character. Well, he must be confident after that uh, first innings, 43. Two wickets to get for Australia, and uh, Sri Lanka need 32. Lokarachi on strike to Shane Warne. Nice. 20, nice. Stuff. In the first innings, Lokarachi made 18, and he also middled the ball. Looks uh, very confident. Didn't impress all that much with the ball, didn't get much turn. But uh, he's looked good. Maybe that's why they selected him. Just to something different in the attack, but he can bat a bit. Oh, shame. Nice footwork. 
He played a magnificent shot last evening just before Stumps came down the wicket and out of the rough drove Warren through mid-wicket for four. Shot of a, a real batsman. There he is. He's not frightened to use his feet. He is Sri Lankan. Yes, he overran that last delivery. His feet went past where the ball pitched. And so he had to just dig it out. Oh, Ooh, kept a bit low. Last one. Come on, mate. Roll here, water. Tried to play the cut, but uh, that was far too close to the off stump. Mm -hmm. And that spun as well. Didn't bounce much. Nice take from Gilchrist. He stayed low. Little edge, and uh, he was in beautiful position. Oh, Warner. He's tried the Gatting ball, the famous Gatting ball, bowling, <laughs> bowling from outside leg stump. A little bit of rough out there. Yes, Shane Warren is uh, doing everything possible. And uh, look, Warachi perhaps would have played the sweep on another occasion, but uh, this time he's watchful, just trying to get a little tickle down towards fine leg. Up. Mind games, you don't know. Matthew Hayden's at first slip. He took seven catches at Gore He's fair now. in that position. And uh, he'd be expecting another, I reckon. Outside edge. Oh! Not from that one. Missing That's leg, Shane. Stuff, Shane. Come on. Went through quicker. Come on, one wicket and, here, uh, boys. That's the wrong one, but uh, certainly well down the leg side. That's Shane's father, Keith. He's living every ball here. Just thrilled with his son's comeback to Test cricket. Nice, oh, Shane Warren. A maiden, 320 for eight. Bright blue skies and coconut palms. A stunning place is Candy. Australia needing two wickets, Sri Lanka needing 32, and the crowd is pouring in. The words out. 32 required for victory. Gillespie's going to try and knock Nuan Zoyser over. Two slips, no gully. Third man. Suiza stretching onto the front foot. High right elbow, watching the ball, getting it right off the middle. Nice defensive stroke. There's the hook shot. Has he got that? He's got it. Surprise bouncer. Brilliant bowling. Well, no one so is, a, is an impulsive hooker. The Aussies are delighted. They have picked up the ninth Sri Lankan wicket. And big uh, no one so is a walks back, disappointed. And he's going to be replaced by that man, Mutai Murlitharan. In his hometown. Can he bring victory for Sri Lanka? A good bouncer from uh, Gillespie forced him to play that hook shot. He gloved it and he just lobbed uh, to Adam Gilchrist. The one Soiza goes. Soiza gone for a duck. Sri Lanka 320 for nine. Uh, the Buddha's not happy this morning. Just Murali now. Murali with Lukarachi. Australia need one wicket, Sri Lanka need 32. A good start, good positive start from the Sri Lankans, then lost Vass, and now Zoyser with a perfect bouncer. Yes, they got off to a very good start this morning. Then Chaminda Vass went 
trying to hit one out of the ground. Caught at mid-wicket and now Luan Soiza is dismissed by Gillespie and aren't they delighted? Can Morley do it again? Forty-three from twenty-eight deliveries in the first innings, Morley Durant. Just gave himself some room and hit five fours and three sixes. He belted Kasparich out of the attack. Can he do it again for Sri Lanka? He'd be in two minds, I think. He's got Lokarachi up the other end, but he can only bat one way. He doesn't know how to block them. He doesn't know how to defend. The only times he's made runs for Sri Lanka is when he's got after the bowling. What is going through his mind? There it is. There's the first ball. Throws that left leg away and bats baseball style. The Australians don't think they need any slips for him. They know it's going to be shots like that. He's going to hammer it, and he's going to hammer it as much as he can on the leg side. That's where he hit all three sixes in the first innings. And uh, the expression on Gillespie's face, he feels he was very near to getting Sri Lanka's number 11. They've got a deep mid-wicket, a deep backward square, a deep fine leg. And he's gone over cover, and he's whacked it for four. Well, they've got most of the protection on the leg side. And Murli, he decides it's got to go on the off. And it was pitched outside the off stump. He had room to swing his bat. And uh, there it goes, races away for four. Two balls remaining in this over. I think he's got to keep going. He's got to try and win the game for them here. Slow ball, well bowled. He very easily gets through the shot too early. What an intense battle. And uh, very slowly bowled by Gillespie. Morley Duran just couldn't get hold of it. Big swipe to leg. So Darren Lehman's joined in the chat here. I'm going to make Morley wait. Lehman's come across from cover with some advice, maybe an idea. So, mid-off's gone to long off. They've put him on the fence. Lehman has gone to deep mid-wicket. So, if you're playing a one-day match, you'd only have one man in the circle at the moment, and that would be Ponting at mid-wicket. They're all on the fence. Oh, he's missed it. Lucky one for Morelli. 324 for nine. So, Shane Warne and Ricky Ponting. I don't know, I think at this stage, my money's got to be on the Aussies to take you through to the end. It will be, we think it'll be the end for the next in the next half hour, Jeff Thompson and Ranjit Fernando. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, well, nail biting, isn't it? Just look at the, the crowd that's in there. Uh, Alan Border, selectors, I mean, he's got sweaty palms, we all have. I mean, uh, whose guess is it? I mean, Shavindavas, who would believe he'd give you two chances in three balls? And uh, out. I mean, that was a huge wicket there. He was hitting the ball so well, there was no need to. Uh, go berserk and well he just got carried away so there it is they need 28 runs and Australia need just the one wicket really Duran out there and uh, look Arachi who can uh, well he can handle the bat yes Tomo I think the last wicket partnerships in this match have been significant There it is. Warney has done it again. A fiver for Shane Warne. He's wrapped it up for Australia. 28 runs. Sri Lanka, 27 runs. They fell short. Shane Warne, second 10 wicket hole in Sri Lanka. And boy, did they ever need it now. And they know it. Look at him out there hugging. Disappointment there for the Sri Lankans. But boy, did they put up a good fight here. A sensational match here at Gaul. 
Sri Lanka's first series loss at home in three years. Australia have gone 2 nil, two nil up. There's only one more match in Colombo next week. And look at all the hugs of jubilation from the, the Australians. Shane Warne, probably the biggest, one of the biggest fifers of his career. Yes, I think uh, Shane Warne, really, he's the type of person who could produce a delivery like that to finish it off. And it's been a huge game of cricket. It had all the trimmings that went with it. Uh, wickets, runs, and uh, what a sensational game this has been. Sri Lankans fought to the end before a huge crowd, but Australia once again um, coming out victors. Again, Shane won the man with uh, a fine spell. When it mattered, he really stood up and was counted. So Australia win this series and this match 2-0. Well, yeah, let's have another look at this. Back he goes, trying to work the ball across. There's not much doubt. You couldn't have made that much simpler. That's the one that hurries on there, and Warnie has picked him up absolutely in front. Another look again, back and across, and misses it. Trying to play across the line there, Lukarachi missed it. Well, they're not going to get too much easier there for Buckner, and another LBW falls in this match, and that gives Warnie this wicket here, gives Warnie his 20th wicket in this series. And, well... Willie Duran, who was uh, the not-out man, he's got 20 wickets in this series. So what a series it's been for both of them. Both cracked the 500 mark earlier on in this game. Shane warns mum that she would be absolutely over the moon. Yes, she couldn't uh, really ask for a better finish here. Shane warned the great bowler that he is. Uh, when really it mattered, he was always there picking up those wickets. And... Uh, Keith Shane Warne's father, and uh, Nirao must be very, very pleased. Sri Lankans um, must also be given a fair amount of credit. They fought gamely, and uh, it was Australia's superiority that uh, finally prevailed. Chaminda was, he had an excellent game. He must be disappointed that uh, he threw it away when uh, he could have probably taken Sri Lanka much closer, played some glorious shots, was seeing the ball well, but again, the Australian Simons must be relieved, man. He missed that crucial chance of Chaminda was uh, at that crucial state, but Chaminda was, uh, he gave in. But Shane Warne, he's been really the man of the Aussies, would uh, thank for this great victory. Yeah, superb effort from him. There's his dad giving him a clap and the rest of the supporters and really all the Sri Lankan crowd here. They'll be a little disappointed, but they realise uh, what a good job the Australians and what a good match this was. As you said, uh, a very spirited fight it was from uh, Sri Lanka, but in the end they just fell 27 runs short of the target. Jai Saria, he's a magnificent 131. We've seen centuries from Gilchrist. He was out of form and he, he hits a big 144 for the Australians. Damien Martin again in the runs. Wickets to Murley, wickets to Warren. Paceman getting wickets out there in this match. And, uh, well, who felt the pressure this morning? We saw Andrew Sivers drop bars, and we thought, well, that's it, game over, strike a win, and then two balls later, he hits it down, Langer's throw out on the bench. Boy, as I said in the pitch report, there's nothing wrong with the wicket, it was just who handled the pressure, and, uh, well, the Aussies shook a little bit, but in the end, they just uh, held firm. Yes, I think one must also uh, say that the pitch played up extremely well. Ground staff did a great job uh, despite the rain, and uh, it was a wonderful uh, day of uh, uh, five days of Test cricket. Australia finally uh, winning, but uh, I think um, cricket too were the winners. Well, congratulations there from the coach. Here. He'd be a relieved man. And Ricky Potter, he's smiling like a Cheshire cat. There he is, Potter. There his second Test as Australian captain, and, uh, well, he gets two in a row. Uh, well, who would have bet on this one? I mean, anything, it was all in the balance this morning. 51 runs, three wickets. Congratulations all round. A superb match again. I mean, we thought the, the match last week in Gore was uh, fairly hard to beat, but here we are. We've come a couple of days, well, almost a week later, and uh, it's happened again. John Dyson's wife there, Kate. Oh, a little disappointed. There's his son Shane there. And look at Aussie fans around the place. They're happy. But they will look at the disappointment. That's the other side of the coin. Unfortunately, what could have been for Sri Lanka? And well, there's some parents there. They're all smiling, but they're all fairly relieved. I'll tell you who would be relieved. There's Andrew Simons dropping that catch. And, and then, uh, well, no, no runs with a penalty for that. And he was out two balls later. He'd be a very happy man. Yes, I think one really had to look at the glee on his face once uh, Chaminda Was went. Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, what a test match.
What a sensational test match. It had everything. What about a round of applause for these magnificent cricketers? Well, uh, at the beginning of the day's play, we had no idea who was going to win this one, but Australia have done it again. And I'd like to call upon Ricky Ponting, the winning captain. Good on you, mate. Well done. Mr. Mohan De Silva awards a cash prize of US $2,000 to Ricky Ponting. Congratulations. A beauty, wasn't it? You've done it again. Yeah, it was a great test match here. Uh, we fought all the way again. Bowled out for 120 on the first day. Wasn't obviously a great start, but uh, we fought really well. Batted really well in the second innings. Uh, had a, probably a 50-50 game on our hands this morning, and the, the boys have come through with, with shining colours. Hashan Tilakarat, the captain of Sri Lanka. Congratulations on another magnificent performance, but uh, my friend, the Aussies are just very tough to crack. Yeah, just that uh, they played very good cricket. Just that uh, we 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 had our chances, but then again we couldn't finish it in style. But uh, uh, all in all, it's a very good Test match. I want we want to congratulate Ricky and his team for winning the series. But uh, we need to get uh, get together and uh, come back strong in the third Test.